Mamba just entered the Katie Ma podcast, keyboard, plus mouse or die. Welcome to the first KB Mod podcast of the year 2012. Joining us tonight are Scott, Brandon, Dan, John, and Alex. That's me. We have... <laughs> You ruined it. I was on a flow. I'm sorry. Every I'm sorry. Time I, I didn't know you were still you... going. No, I'm done now. I'm done now. Uh, <laughs> it was very. That was good. That yeah. that was good. That was very. Man, it's a new year. Are you making Are you making the money in the new year? Like I told you to. You're to go making out the movie the money. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna try. Because it's just that easy. Let's make the internet money. Yeah, yeah, that too. The internet money is hard. People don't like me. <laughs> You're uh, controlling people, bro. <laughs> Let the past be the past, people. Okay, that's what I say. You know, <laughs> let it yeah, let but it you go. You have multiple arrest warrants, so of course you're biased. <laughs> of course I'm down for that. Of course, let the past. Be. You're not allowed within the vicinity Brandon, of Brandon children. Brandon has multiple cats. people allegations, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> <Your new webcam. laughs> uh, we were discussing earlier if you guys ever watched any of Brandon's, or yeah, you guys watched the podcast, uh, the end of year one, where Brandon's camera angles just a little interesting. Yeah, it was dick cam. It was the dick cam. Alex has a couple of theories on that. The blowy cam. Well, I think yeah. that he learned that technique from installing webcams in public bathrooms to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true, Brandon? Did you ever have any of that line of work? I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> IT specialist that that is installing uh, the origin cams. of the webcam angle yeah. <laughs> in female female dressing rooms at JC Penney's. <laughs> oh, you like man. to speak to a lawyer? <laughs> nice. Well, obviously, this is our um, first podcast back from two week break. Was it? Doesn't seem like it, but yeah. it has been two weeks. I can't, I can't even believe it's been two weeks. I know. <laughs> yeah, John, I know me either. It is mind blowing. But we are glad to be back. What did you all do in the uh, for Christmas and New Year's? What's anything exciting? Um, we hosted Christmas at our house, mm. so that was an adventure, and uh, I got really drunk a lot. I think I saw, were you tweeting during that time? When I was really drunk? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. I did definitely see some of those. <laughs> Assumed you were extremely inebriated, but uh, who'd you have yeah. over? Was it your media uh, Well, my brother-in-law was there for like the whole week, so we just got hammered. I see. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, Will drinks. Yeah, he can beverage. <laughs> <laughs> beverage is a is a verb, for those of you who didn't know. To beverage. Yes, here I'm going to go out with Dan and beverage, so to speak. <laughs> what did you uh, What did you do, John? Anything exciting? Um, tons of family stuff, and got real drunk off of mimosas Christmas morning. <gasps> so which did is, I. Strong. Yeah, and, it, and it's almost impossible to get drunk off of mimosas. So I will say that I had two bottles of champagne and an entire <laughs> gallon of orange juice to myself. <laughs> and uh, I had so much shit to do. That day, like going between her family and mine, but instead we just took a nap. Yep, and That's it was what I sweet. <laughs> it was good times, though. It was my first Christmas, you know, after this summer, so it was a little bit odd at first. Yeah, but it, it went a lot better than I had anticipated it was going. I think the build up to the holiday made it much worse. Yeah, and the actual That's holiday cool. itself. Yeah, definitely. Brandon, uh, what'd you do over in Texas? Lifted weights. <laughs> really? I just left it, bro. Just left on Christmas Day. I don't know. If Alex and Andrew wanted me Christmas to tree. relay a message to you that you are gay and Fight Club is shit. Fuck you, Alex. Your penis is small. LOL. You're gay. <laughs> and she's just mad that I haven't graced him with my presence in a very long time. <laughs> he cried while he typed that. I'm certain of it. <laughs> And happy birthday, um, Xbox, Xbox, by the way. Yes, happy, happy birthday, birthday. Drew. Oh, happy nice. Birthday, Drew. It, is, it is Drew's birthday 14, tomorrow. 14, 15, 16? 12. Cough. 12? 12. Yes. <laughs> okay. Wow. Congrats. Drew's 12 now. Six and Uncle Touchy's 12. It is now legal to buy action figures at Toys R Us without needing ID. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> I think at 12, they... they like he wasn't on. not... Like we weren't going to troll it. Well, it's yeah. a big year now because yeah. he can get a boating license to drive his yacht. <laughs> that's, that's true. true. <laughs> you drive See, that's how you do it. You get a yacht, and then you get a boating license. Mm. Gatched or sweet? 
I prefer to. Pre- if I actually had enough money, I would buy a yatched and then pronounce it yatched all the time. <laughs> Even though people would say, would you, and yeah, like, would you invite others over for Philip Mignon's on your yatched? <laughs> yes, yes, I would. I would do that, and then like my would high, I would invite Garrison like real high society people. Oh my god, did you just say it right? Yeah, I did. Which is How? actually ironic because he's had two weeks I should to say, practice. Let's not I know. Him. I've been. He's coming back on at some point, so I have to. I have to say it correctly. He is. He is. But yeah, I would. I would invite my high society friends over, and they would try to correct me, and I'd be like, "No, don't worry about it. It's a gatched." And they would and get since, really upset. Well, since you had money, though, if you had enough money, yeah, everyone would be like, great. "Oh, it is a yatch. Oh. And then everyone would start saying, <laughs> "Yatched would be much cooler than yacht." Would it not? Yeah, it is a better yacht. Word. Is just yacht is just a dumb word. Like yeah. yacht sounds like something I would do to you in the evening. <laughs> I'm going to yacht. You want to come over and you know yacht then? God, I'm gonna yacht that asshole, girl. It's like the verb to mm. Santorum. <laughs> Santorum's yeah. a fucking sweet word. Most Rick of these Santorum. listeners don't know what's what Santorum is. <laughs> I, I do. Oh, I, I know. You told me about it. The it's the frothy, sometimes slimy amalg- amalgam of lumricant and stray fecal matter that leaks out of the receiving partner's anus after a session of anal intercourse. <laughs> wow. That's, that that's would be the that was... most well put together urban dictionary yeah. definition ever. That's very well done. The fact that you have that memorized is even more impressive. As and in, I it's a yatched strong beverage. my dude friend so hard last night. <laughs> Centorum everywhere. <laughs> That would be using it in a sentence, yes. <laughs> um, Brandon. That correlates pretty strongly with what I did over the break. Do some munging, then, or Brandon. <laughs> you and a couple bros? <laughs> no, no, but I, uh, I did go gaming. to New Orleans yeah, with that's... some friends of mine. Did you have a po' boy? I had the most delicious fried oh, shrimp po' boy. And I had uh, I had some gumbo, some etouffee, just uh, do any uh, any beveraging with your bros. A uh, little bit of beveraging, yeah. Did you um, hit up uh, was it Bourbon Street? That's the the famous one, yeah. Yeah, we hit up Bourbon Street, and then uh, there's also a street kind of close to that called Frenchman Street that has uh, a lot of live jazz and blues type clubs. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah, nice. it was it was really cool. So, I would eat till I died time. if I went to New Orleans. Yeah, I was kind of sad because I only because I didn't wake up until the afternoons. I only really had like two good meals each day, and it made me sad because I only got to try you know like three or four different yeah. places. How long I wanted were you to try there? all of them? Uh, we were down there for three nights, so like two full days. But the first night when we got in, we uh, we hit Bourbon Street pretty hard. <laughs> So I didn't play any hard like any games at all. I actually I bought Minecraft because I just had my laptop with me and I was jonesing to play anything. Uh, and I <laughs> I actually got Minecraft to run at like a like twenty FPS after installing a mod to help FPS. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's wow. That sounds like obviously Jesus rig right there. It's pretty good. <laughs> Colin. <clears throat> Wait, Slightly so what, better. what kind of laptop were you? So this is your work laptop, or what were you running? Hello, hello. I, I just have like a week. It's it's a work laptop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, all right. That's what I figured. So, not yeah. high, not much on the power side. Uh, no, I mean it has an integrated graphics card and a Core Two Duo. So it's nice. Like, so it's not good. like my MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro will run it better than his laptop. You could run Counter Strike Source on there, though. Believe it or not, probably better than Minecraft. To be honest. Believe it or not, I, I haven't I tried. Absolutely can't. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Alex. I was going to ask you what you. I did. tried running Source. I tried running did Source, you? and it was awful. It was absolutely <laughs> unplayable. I know the game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god. The best. I give up. We're kicking Knew it was coming. Knew it was coming, but it was still yeah, entertaining. It's quite a setup. That's good. Uh, what, what did you do, Alex? Oh. I've been without PC for three weeks. Yeah, dude. Rock, rocking yeah, um, on your Mac right now. Road polar bears. Played some puck. Played some puck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, you want to play some puck? Trout told me he went down to the pitch with his buddies, with his uh, lads, to play some footy. 
Yeah, yeah. Dude, what is? You know what awesome. Trout probably did on Christmas? He probably just went to McDonald's and got like 47 chicken nuggets. No, he didn't go to McDonald's. He somehow <laughs> ordered McDonald's from his oh, home. Oh, yeah. Because that's he, all he does. He just orders food to his house. You can do that in <laughs> England? In England, what? they've set it up just for Trout to order McDonald's <laughs> into your home. He is pretty YouTube famous, so it is possible. We I do see. have to give Trout a shout out. First guest, almost. <laughs> Six months ago, was it, when I had the first podcast? We do. A lot more than that. Well, yeah, no, yeah, six months ago. I yeah. believe we gave him a shout-out on the award show, but we can give him another one. He could use the help. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not that. Fa- he's not famous enough yet. We can always bolster his reputation. <laughs> um, what did you do in uh, in Canada, though, Alex? Uh, well, my, the only gaming thing well, I did is news. I... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I didn't even hear what he said. I didn't, like hear, I didn't either. I just thought that the only way to We're just going to tell Brendan to shut up and we can't understand. <laughs> it was derogatory. Uh, I don't want to say the I word tried to install Amnesia on my Mac. It was oh, bad. I saw you tweet about that. Yeah. It was really, really bad. And then I tried to stream, and Brandon was in my stream, and he goes, What is this? I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> and it was literally like so. My fans were so loud on this piece of shit that I had to turn my computer off because I. Like, the last thing I did before I turned my computer off is I installed a, th- a thermometer, and it was, like, 90 degrees everywhere. Every piece wow. of this thing was 90 degrees, so <laughs> <laughs> I just turned it off and, and resigned. I've just been watching movies. <laughs> I'll be home. So both of you had failed attempts to game while you couldn't game. I know. So it's really sad. Go. It's really sad. <laughs> All right. Well, then, uh, what about New Year's? Did anybody get Yeah. Did anybody do any beveraging? I got shit housed. I did some beverage. I kept it well under control, though. I went to uh, I went to Market Street in Philly, where um, just kind Sorry. of the, the <laughs> <laughs> one of the main little streets and happening. Did you uh, this. run into Talbot down there? Was he at any bars getting superstar treatment or? No, I didn't. I didn't run into Talbot, but I'll tell you, I did run into moderation and in drinking alcohol, and that on New Year's is disappointing. But I didn't want to. I, I don't know. I just didn't get didn't get slam face like Dan did. You didn't want to puke on anybody's floor. <laughs> that was maybe that's was in the back of my mind because I yeah. was at my friend's house. So I was like, we don't want to repeat that again. So yeah, I drank the night before actually harder than I drank on New Year's. So I just had wow a good you couple were. days. Katie yeah. does not condone. No, drinking. and this is all of course. <laughs> Legal. We are all above legal limits. Yeah, I'm like 70. Uh, yeah, I can drink whatever I want. <laughs> they pay Dan to drink because he's. Yeah, they actually like God. Just fucking die, so we don't have to pay for you later. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. What did, what did you do, Scott, for Christmas? For Christmas, oh, I just uh, hang out with family. My family does uh, does not drink the alcohol so i did not i did not really had do any drinking on christmas um so that was that. that was somewhat of a yeah that was it was fine it was good to have some family time and then we always uh we usually have people over but this year it was just my immediate family and we opened the gifts on christmas and did the tradition i got flip-flops like 80 dollar flip-flops i don't even know the fuck? but they're guaranteed for life i forget what they're called that was good. That's what I was going to ask you guys. Did anyone get anything sweet? I know. Yeah, like, well, that that nullifies getting eighty dollars flip flops. They're guaranteed for life, so it's all cool now. It's all in the neutral. Go yeah. CSS. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I uh, what did I get? Oh, I got a leaf blower because I own a home. And uh, so Megan that was bought my you gift. Megan bought you a gift that she wanted you to have to help clean the yard. Well, actually, her parents. Bought, bought us that. Okay, well that's good. That's good. I have eight thousand trees above my yard. I don't know yes, if you guys yeah. remember it all, and so yeah. leaves are really bad. So it was actually a really good gift. Well, I'm gonna do a pile for the children's. That's right. <laughs> and uh, make sure to rake up the dog shit out of that pile before you blow <laughs> everything else into it. But I bought myself this new monitor at the end of November, so that was my real Christmas gift. When you're married, you just you like get yeah, that's, stuff. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like at a certain. I don't know what what is the age at which it stops. Like, I guess when you start working, like I could get nothing and actually be pretty okay with that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Christmas, exactly especially when you have kids, Dan. That's all about Hunter. And oh my god, Gary. dude, we had so many presents and none of them were for us. Like the whole <laughs> living room. Yeah. I gotta yeah, disregard your own finances. Spoil your children. 
It's pretty much the way. That I don't do it. Everybody. That was the grandparents, dude. My mom sent like a fifty dollar or fifty dollar, fifty pound package of toys and shit from <laughs> oh, California. <geez. clears throat> I was like, "You're ridiculous." And then I got drunk and missed it all because I'm a good father. <laughs> I'm just <Wow>. kidding. <laughs> all right, Alex. Getting drunk on Christmas is a tradition. It is. I it got is. George Foreman. That's a, yeah, about that it. is pretty big, actually, for a single white male. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It sounds like a movie. Isn't there a movie? Single, single white, white female. female. <laughs> oh, wait, that's the sequel. Single what white. kind of movie is that? Is that in a particular genre, maybe, Scott? It's... Is that a porn? No, it's not a <laughs> porn, actually. It's, um, who's in that? Is, uh, I was going to say Jennifer Lopez is in that, but she's not. Jennifer Lopez. She's not, um, white. She's Hispanic. <laughs> So, no. I'm going to look it up hunt, now, though. Keep, keep she talking amongst yourselves. She does 500, which is a sweet car, I must say. Oh, God, yeah. I actually like that car a lot. Well, I don't like Jennifer Lopez. But. Yeah, I don't like Jennifer either, but, you know. <laughs> Jalapeno Lopez. <laughs> Hold on. I'm looking up single white female right now. 1992. Go to images. Bridget Fonda. Is Bridget this. Fonda, yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. I can't believe you didn't know about that movie, Mr. Resident Movie Guru. Yeah, Mr. The movie Guy was guy. before I was born. This doesn't matter. You know, you know movies. No, I'm just saying. I'm giving myself an out. All right, fine. Mr. Movie Guy, bro, guy. You know where... I can't do it. I'm sorry. I tried, but... No, it's not even... <laughs> it's not even... I can't even pretend. <laughs> it's bad. Um, did you get anything exciting, Brandon? I don't know if Brandon's mic's going to work here. He's... Or his internet... He's struggling. Guy. He's struggling. Yeah. Oh. You sound good. Yeah, I uh, I got I got a Razor Carcarius, which is good. I had asked for that. Um, definitely more comfortable than my old Plantronics for long gaming sessions. Yeah. And uh, I got Skyrim, and I haven't I haven't played any yet, obviously, but did get Skyrim. I bought myself a Deus Ex for ten dollars on Amazon, which came with a Steam key. Oh so shit! That was awesome. Wow. And then I, I bought Minecraft for myself, too, and I bought Bass. Yep, yeah, Bass. He bass, bought yeah. bass, bass Pro Hunter? And, and I, I just I spent other monies on games I'll never play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to actually, you know what, I think that did was, that, we were going to talk about that. It? Yeah. <laughs> that might bring us right into it, actually. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. The Steam, the Steam Christmas <sighs> holiday sales. And there was so much tempting stuff. Yeah. I think I refrained a lot more than most people. Yeah, I did too. I actually, yeah, I I bought a lot. Not a lot. I, last time I think I bought like 10 games. I only bought like five, I think, this time, which was good for me. I had most of the good stuff already. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually don't have a lot. Because I'm going to upgrade my PC, so I was like, you know what? I'll oh, yeah. stick off these for now. <laughs> yeah. The, oh, the, the Dead Space... For five dollars, both that's both way games. too good of a deal. Yeah, I was like, I have to, I had to get both of them. So uh, Shark series is five bucks one day. Yep, yep, good series, great deal. Yeah. I bought uh, yeah. my list is short, so I'll just say what I bought. Yeah. I bought Fallout New Vegas for like four dollars, and uh, I'm actually really enjoying that game. <laughs> nice. And then I got, got Magic uh, the Gathering. I did get Magic the Gathering, and I'm pretty happy I did too. It's fun. Um, that's good. <laughs> And then, uh, what else did I get? Uh, I think I got one more game, and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> yeah, the big two were Dead Space. I got the, the Bioshock 1 and 2 deal. Because I have the, um, I had a box copy of Bioshock, but I can't find it. So, I got those. I will never play it, because the game's a piece of shit. Alex, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> I think those were the – maybe those were the four. Maybe I got one more. I don't remember what it was. Oh, well, you know what happened? The other – when they were having the other sales, I don't know. Was it – I guess the summer sale? The yeah. Kane and Lynch series was on sale, which is just awful. I know. Notoriously bad. But it was like a dollar forty nine or something like that for like for like each one. I was like, okay. What what am I kidding? Like, who am I kidding? I got to buy it. So I have those. I, I can't even install. Like you install it and it just doesn't work and it won't launch. And I like looked on the forums and they're like – they're like, if you can get this to run, congratulations, you're a fucking genius, because I've tried everything. So, I don't know, I just, I don't want to play it that bad. But, anyway. Can't I normally push. don't buy that hard on the Steam sales, 
Yeah. But I couldn't help I couldn't help picking up a few games that you know so many people have talked about like Bastion, uh, you know Dan has raved about, and I know you know a lot of other people love. I was like for five bucks I can't not get it on the off chance that I have some right. extra time to play it. And uh, mm. and you know Minecraft I picked up for fun though that wasn't for Steam sales that was just because. Yeah. Uh, and then I also picked. Up- no. You no, picked up that too? Wow, that's a great gift. Yeah. Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs> He's coming because back. Because as I tweeted earlier, uh, the only reason, the only way you should buy Ubisoft games is when they're under $10. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Assassin's Creed 2 is a good game. They they are an award-winning developer, though. Alex hates Assassin's Creed. He always tweets about it. The first one was, the, was an awful game. Yeah. I don't hate Assassin's Creed. It's like... They had the opportunity to make it a trilogy, and they split the second game into a trilogy, and they're all the same. You just do the same shit. They're the same buildings. <laughs> it's just I don't understand. Like, the missions at some point, they just start you from the beginning again. Like, halfway through the game, they just start you doing the same type of missions. Well, yeah. It is Ubisoft, bro. It's just really <clears throat> repetitive. I think it's because they expect you to get so mad at the DRM halfway through you quit. They're like, <laughs> no one will get 50% in. They'll never notice. And it's then, just a totally <laughs> different game on the Xbox than it is on the PC. They're yeah, like, we're not going to finish it. <laughs> Once you get to a certain point, it's just completely different. <laughs> All the textures go away. It's just flat ground. It's also like the anything. Twilight of the video game series. They had yeah. one game, and they made multiple out of it. <laughs> well, I'm particularly a fan of all the uh, the Mario-esque accents that everyone has that is comically uh, stereotypical <laughs> of, uh, of that. So Mario true, world. dude. And all English, yeah. It's like, yeah. I, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, they got to do it, but a lot of them are really, I think, really funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, I bet, I'm pretty sure, like, everybody in Italy probably hates them so much. <laughs> yeah, for how they Just because that. everything's portrayed so poorly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't um, I'm sure that's not exactly how Italy is. I've never been there, but I can only imagine. You mean everyone isn't Mario and a plumber? Uh, Bullshit. No, they, they, everybody, there's a plumber as a profession. <laughs> the plumber or the mafia. That's the only two plumber. Can you? Yeah, I guess you could. Yeah. You could also be on Ghost Hunters and be a plumber for Roto Rooter. <laughs> Rear <laughs> <laughs> reference there. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a uh, Ghost Hunter story Ooh, real quick. Yeah, hit me. So the Ghost Hunter Bros had whoever those guys are. I don't even. I've only seen the show like a couple times. Grant and Jay had, had like some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Had some contest to like get new Ghost Hunters or something. Uh-huh. Not for them, like for another series for Travel Channel or something. No. And uh, a dude that I went to high school with, his like Ghost Hunting team won. Really? So they have like their own show. I don't even know if it's like. You gotta oh, tell me which, like, uh, yeah. He was a garbage shit. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's awful, but I'm always, if I'm bored, I'll watch the paranormal, in quotes, stuff. <laughs> Finding Bigfoot. I do believe there's a squatch in these woods. Finding Bigfoot, yeah, that show. Oh my That's god. That's the worst. I do of believe all. there's that one a squatch. So they like hear like a stick, they're like, Bigfoot exists. <laughs> they're stick against a tree, they're like, nothing could else could cause that. It's like windy and fucking branches are falling down. <laughs> Do they search for the ghost of Steve Irwin's Stingray? <laughs> I don't know if they have yet, but... Why would that be in Bigfoot territory? That's weird. It's a ghost. It can do whatever territory. it wants. God. <laughs> Just hovering around with Bigfoot and... You've taken off any sweet jumps? <laughs> <laughs> wow, we were getting sidetracked. All right. I bu- okay, my, st- my Steam... Yeah, go for it. Segway as well. My Steam sale... I bought Hitman Blood Money for three bucks. Not bad. Because that game is sweet. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what I bought. I'm sorry. I bought the Hitman series. Yeah, as that well. game, I... Blood Money is so cool. They just like release yeah. you into the level and nothing ever loads again. It's just you just walk around and do whatever you want. Yeah. And and then I bought Batman Arkham City on the PC for 25 bucks and all DLC. Whoa. And that segues into mm-hmm. Batman was our best story award for the KB Mod Awards. There you go. You like okay. That? that was a very good segue. I like that. Um, yeah, we wanted to talk a little bit about, um, we had posted uh, a couple days ago the results of the awards for people that didn't listen to it um, as an article, and some of the people had questions about things that won, and we didn't list the criteria. I didn't list their criteria in that article for what 
yeah. what the awards were. So there is obviously some some confusion. I will say that these were all nominated by us in games that we predominantly <laughs> played. So we weren't going to like. Um, even though, so like objectively, like best esports title, Starcraft obviously too. StarCraft, exactly. But we did not like. I'm not entrenched in the StarCraft too. It's more like for what we here play, I guess is the best. Yeah. Way. I was also confused. I thought it was for 2011. StarCraft was not released in 2011. Was it? See that? See that? Was, people were also people were also yeah. voting on. I know. I think Brandon did this. Because he's having troubles right now with his internet, but uh, I think he was voting on like what it will be in 2012 as well. So that's that, true. Yeah, um, you guys not me? even a real website. So yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, that's no, true. I actually I voted for StarCraft too because I was I was thinking like what is the you know biggest most popular esports oh. title of 2011. But I voted then for again, League StarCraft of Legends. Two wasn't. Mm. Yeah, StarCraft Two wasn't released in 2011. Neither was League of Legends. So. Like, we didn't really clarify and meet no, on what the criteria was for that particular category. That's true, yeah. But if you're upset about it, I mean, like, we, we obviously realize there are some huge esports titles, and yeah. Tribes winning just means right. that, like, two or three out of all of us voted yeah. for it. Right. We there carry a lot of weight guys in the gaming community, too. Yeah, there was eight votes. We could have all voted for eight different games at a tie. Exactly. And then we just had to list all of them. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, no, that's exactly right. But I think it more comes down to what, like, I don't, like, in preference of what we like to watch. Like, this, like, these are our awards, so we will make them however the fuck we want to make them. <laughs> to be honest, so it's not going to be like so people can disagree and objectively can go, yeah, okay, if it was on a grand scale. But then again, too, like you said, StarCraft Two did not come out this year, so yeah, you know, it's like give us right, that we even gave one. that award out as opposed to other larger. Awards right, shows. exactly. Because I was going to vote Modern Warfare Here, here's 3 what for you all the money realize. Activision gave me. Modern Warfare 3 didn't win an award from us, and therefore we are legit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much yep. crowning jewel. Not one award. And it was, did win one award, though, in one, one show. What was that? Was that the VG, TV. VGAs? Yeah. Oh, weird. I'll tell you this. I was talking to Scott the other day on Gchat about... Um, like, Because, you know, I look at all the my Google Reader for stories to post on the site... And uh, so, you know, I got to see lots of, you know, links to different websites, awards, and that kind of thing. Um, and the literally the only thing Modern Warfare 3 won from anyone was that VGA. It yeah. won nothing yeah. from any other publication, any other publication, like even IGN and games. Like, it won nothing. <laughs> yeah. That was it. There there was a great uh, Reddit post of a picture of I, of an IGN uh, two reviews. So the first review was for like an N64 hockey game where it <laughs> described it as being the exact same as the other year, like exactly, like barely anything changed. And yeah, and, then, and, and it got like a I don't know, like a twenty percent or something awful. And then <laughs> they have the next review of Modern Warfare three right under it, and it describes like the same thing, incremental changes, ninety percent or whatever it was. Yeah. So it's just funny. It's just like yeah, I'm like, come on. Let's be honest. Um, there are definitely certain sites in certain areas that just, whether it's endorsement <laughs> money or goodwill or whatever they want to garner, they want to. Well, be look, it, not even IGN gave Modern Warfare three an award this year, so. Yeah, that's true. It didn't. <laughs> they, I think that maybe they reviewed it the most positive, but. Yeah. They, um, but they review awards. literally on any AAA title, possibly. So yeah, that's true. It's hard get to get money. <laughs> yeah, no, get that right? cash. Um. <laughs> But yeah, do we have any? I mean, that was one of them. So that was probably the StarCraft Two winner was was one of the big ones that that was pretty probably, highly debated. But that was know. exactly. But the fact that it didn't come out this year re- renders all those arguments null. But that really because we all we also took games from other some of the categories. I think TF Two was nominated, John. I think you nominated TF Two. Was I that YouTube game? That for the most fun to watch. Most fun to watch. Okay, but that one didn't come out this year. But the YouTube one was like whatever. I don't think we cared. Yeah, about we it didn't. This is our first go round, bros. Yeah, exactly. So we, we can we'll sure up for next year. We can sure them up a little bit more concrete as far as what we want them to be. But then again, we also don't have to because these are our awards. But <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, uh, I'm getting a little defensive about it because um, you know I like we, I like doing our own thing and not having to worry about like right. explaining ourselves to people and be like, well, you should have had look with this. It's like no, we'll do what we want. Um, um, I will say this, uh, or another actually. Why did I say I will say this? It wasn't what I was looking for there at all. Um, <laughs> uh, 
the other category that was really hotly debated, especially on yes. Twitter, not as much in the comments, was actually for, from what I was seeing was best graphics. Um, mm. That was one that a lot of people were. They didn't like BF3 for that choice, huh? No. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people were saying what I said um, as devil's advocate. But once again, like Scott said before, we if we didn't play it, it's hard. Um, right. But Witcher 2 was a yeah. lot of people saying, like, Witcher 2 should have won. Juggernauts was, like, all up in arms about that one. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, I would say if I was just going to go off what, you know, what the consensus around was and what the hardware seems to say, I would go Witcher 2. But mm-hmm. I just thought that it was impressive that BF3 – did what it did in a multiplayer on set. that scale. I think yeah. you have to. Yeah, I think we talked. You about have that. to give it props for that. That's what's more impressive to me is that Witcher Two. Yes. I haven't played it, but I have like seen it. Mm-hmm. And I've wa- you know I've watched a little bit of it, um, and it's impressive. But Battlefield Three is doing it in a multiplayer setting, which yeah. is like a whole other level. Yeah, uh, totally in my agree. opinion. Yep, totally agree. Yeah, so that one I, I feel like is a little more. Um, I don't know, a little more easy to, but yeah, I mean, people can definitely have their opinions. I think, why well, know, John, you played some, Witcher two some, and then um, I, yeah, it's fucking, it's beautiful. But my yeah. my thing with Battlefield three and why I voted for Battlefield three is just because of the scale in which they do it. Yeah, yep. Um, yeah. The Witcher two up close, everything up front is is much more appealing visually. Mm-hmm. Um, the the foliage, the character models, and everything, but to do it on such a scale that Battlefield did is what yep. truly makes it shine. To me, like I don't, I don't think Battlefield Three is even in probably the top three of the best looking games. Like you know, when you break it down to and just want like a shit like demo, that. yeah, tech demo. Yeah. But yeah. when you when you break down what they were able to do with the game in such a large setting, like sixty four players, yeah. Yeah. mile long maps, and everything's yeah. fucking gorgeous. The, yeah, there's there's nothing topping that. And even even harnessing the just underpowered consoles to look. Pretty yep. decent, <laughs> you know, not close to PC when you actually crank everything up, but still look like, um, yeah. you know, it could look like a lower to moderate end PC is a, is a ridiculous achievement, I think. And to get, I don't know what the frame rates are like. I mean, it's capped at 30, but. Yes. Um, <laughs> a lot of people think Skyrim looks good, but when you go up mm. to the close, to your close up textures, yeah, that's it doesn't look good at all. No. So there's a common misconception with the way people view graphics. And also, another thing that I was actually I saying like to, this. uh, <laughs> to juggernauts and kind of goes along with that is like games like tf2 for instance i think have amazing graphics um the art style. tf2 might yeah. not be the most like demanding or technical exercise but man the art style in tf2 That's is just beautiful. fantastic and uh it's the same thing with uh uh do say human revolution yep. uh that game had a very good art style and uh that was not many acc- someone, I accolades think, uh, got Blacklight nominated that one. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I didn't play that. I haven't played that yet, but it really does. fucking good. Yeah, looks sweet. Blacklight said he didn't vote Bastion for Game of the Year. Yeah, I gotta go back and Someone's look. Lying. I, I thought he did. I yeah. Let me. Well, Maybe actually, I'm not gonna fun. open up the spreadsheet now. Yeah, I, I have it. I have it down. And actually, actually, go back through the emails. So, but I know <laughs> someone did. So, I don't know. I voted Skyrim. For those yeah, I voted Skyrim wanted. as well. Portal 2. Yeah, Portal Brink. 2 would have been mine. <laughs> Brink. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's let's go on to uh, another topic, uh, an article that you wrote, Dan, that was, uh, I think, garnered a lot of attention because of how shocking some of the games that were on that list uh, of the most pirated yeah. games of the year were. Uh, so I don't know if you want to talk about that a little bit. Yeah. I mean... The thing for me on that, when I was writing it and I saw the list, I didn't expect about, I think, like three or four of them to actually be on it. Mm-hmm. Um, if some of you guys didn't see it, it's it's on the web page. But number one, let me see if I can pull it up here. Do you have it in front of you, Scott? Yeah, I'm pulling it up. I was on Crisis another article, two, actually. Really? Yeah, Crisis 2 was number one. Yeah. Um, Hold on. That doesn't that. surprise me. That doesn't surprise it's me because it's more of a fucking thing. Yeah, yeah the, the original Crisis was all pirated too. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people that I, I won't name names that I've talked to that have pirated that for the same thing. Just the tech, the tech behind it. Um, yeah, which isn't even nearly as good as the original Crisis. Yeah, 
Um, so yeah, so you got Crisis and then Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three was second, which behind that. Like I said in the article, I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but with seeing Call of Duty on there and Battlefield Three, mm-hmm. both of which, and this might have played into after I wrote the article, I thought about that factor as well. This might that it might have played into it, but those two games you wouldn't be able to play it online without right. a lot of hassle. I mean, there are cracks out there, really substantial cracks to do that, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. But, you know, most users who are pirating aren't going to do that, honestly. Right. So what you essentially got was a single-player game, a single-player campaign for both of those, which is about six hours each, I think, roughly. Which it's not I very have. long, and I've heard it's terrible in both games. I've never played either, had any desire to play either. So, Wait, What was and, the second game that wasn't Call of Duty? Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 3. was third, yeah. Battlefield 3 was third, and those two games, you would get a single-player game, and the single-player sucks. I mean, who gets Call of Duty or Battlefield just to play? Dude, I just wanted to protect America from terrorists. (laughs) Who buys buys Crisis to play multiplayer? Yeah. Truth. It's true. But I I have it, and I actually played Crisis 2 multiplayer for the first time last night, and it it was a lot of fun. I thought it was good, but I don't think it's going to get the attention that it deserved or anything like that. No. But to see to see that, the reason I thought that I wrote in the article why I thought Crisis 2 is number one is because it wasn't on Steam after a bit. And I actually think yeah. some people were like, well, fuck that. <laughs> I'm just going to pirate it then. I, I, I would attribute, yeah, some of these, like, and the number four was FIFA 12, which is just... <laughs> well, that makes sense to me because... Does it? Yeah. FIFA? Um, sports games, pirating sports games makes the most sense to me. Yeah. Of, of anything that was good, that might be pirated on a mass scale. Yeah. <clears throat> um, that's a good, the biggest that's one. a good point, Brandon, actually. Brandon's say? saying, since he's having the tech problems, mm. I think Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3 are probably pirated mm. highly to see how it runs on their machines. That's and a good I see point. That. Yeah, especially BF3. And these these don't account for how many people pirate the game and then buy it legitimately. Like if you're going to want to get online and not have to go through the hassle of cracking your version of Battlefield 3 or Modern Warfare 3, yeah. you know what I mean? And and just to see how it runs initially and then like I think a lot of people would probably end up buying it if it runs well. And yeah, that's not an excuse, <laughs> but this is just the straight numbers of who's pirated it and yeah. how many people bought it after. Yeah, it's fact. a straight straight kind of aggregate of a bunch of big torrent sites. Right. And uh, but it's but the thing is with FIFA, with sports games, yeah. in college when I had no money, I yeah. would buy games still, but I would I would pirate sports games. Yeah. When I was in college, because I was like, I'm not going to spend sixty dollars no, every on the year same exact on the same exact change. thing. Yeah, yeah, it makes no sense. So, I yeah. basically that's why I did it, and that's why I would see you know why I can see that being in the top five for sure. Yeah, definitely. Portal Portal Two is the fifth spot with three million two hundred forty thousand. I would Steph, never pirates Portal Two. Yeah. I would. I don't care if I had absolutely no money and my only option was to pirate a game. I would never consider pirating a game from Valve. Yeah, that's a I, fucking disgrace to PC gaming. Is what that is. Yeah, you are a disgrace, and I hope you die. Yeah. Plus, Thankfully. think about this too. Valve is really good with their pricing. They're really good with doing sales. And Portal 2 came out at 50 bucks, which maybe to some people I can see. That's a little steep for Portal. I can see that, actually. But it was $30 well, within a day or two. How it was that $30 steep on for sale. Portal 2? I understand. Because it's only like six hours. Because, yeah, it's not that long. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's, that's the reasoning I can see. Um, that's why I, I know a lot of people who didn't buy it right away. The I know. Break I'm is just fucking saying. game of the year, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good old break. Um, but what I'm saying is that Valve actually put the game on sale within like a week on like some sale for 30 bucks. Right, like, exactly. come on, dudes. <laughs> yeah. And I, Valve always, you know, throws a Valve title on sale here or there. Like, it wasn't going to just always be 50. I mean, I, I, it's I, all I, their fucking titles. They give you free DLC yeah. and you steal from them. It really, I mean, you are really the scum of the earth if you're pirating Valve Ubisoft, titles. Ubisoft, that's one thing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, we're not condoning any pirating, but, uh, no, but I totally, I mean, like, yeah, like, all the shit they do, and when, like, when Valve, when the last time Valve put out a shitty game that they worked a long time, like, never, ever, ever. fuck you, <laughs> never, so, it's just, it is, it is, that is so, that is just 
Yeah, that was the one when I was looking through the list. You know, my eyes were scanning down. Okay, Call of Duty, Battlefield. Right. No, FIFA, that. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want to go Brandon's route of why people would, would pirate games to test them, maybe people were um, sort of worried. Maybe they thought they were they too were worried, stupid. Yeah, they were worried they were yeah. too stupid mm. to play the game, so why would I True. spend money if I'm going to get stuck? They were sort of wary of spending money on a game that would test their knowledge of of, of understanding things. <laughs> yeah, so that's so the one game on the list that I really them. hope, like I really yeah. hope that that is the reason why it got pirated so much. Is maybe people wanted to test it on their machines or or you know test it before they bought it or something. Because but I really hope that have difficulty. You know. Well, least. no, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm I'm trying to look at the bright side here and just hoping that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was pirated. It was pirated a ton, but when people saw it on sale for five or ten dollars, like it, like it basically is now, that you know they go and buy it to support the developer, especially Valve, the best right. developer in the industry. Aside from maybe Blizzard, it's arguable. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, and I'll go back again to I don't know how many people bought it legitimately after pirating it. Like, I don't think they lost three million two hundred forty thousand copies. Like, there was definitely people that would go on yeah, and buy and- it. So. And the thing is, if that number's correct, right. Valve makes a shitload of money. Cause like, oh, right. If they that's just, said, the, you know, just the pirated. We don't even really care. Right. They, like. Yeah, exactly. And I, I just think it's just a re, I mean, it's just a, it's just a reality of, of, of the internet. I mean, it's just yep. like, I mean, you can only, there are certain measures you can do to try to protect your game. They can be fucking awful, like the way Ubisoft does it. Um, but at the end of the day, the reason the internet thrives and and it is such an open platform yeah. like it is 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 because of you know because of and then you will have people that will abuse that. It's just a reality of it. And anyway, yeah. this gets back. I don't want to get into the the SOPA rant, but <laughs> this you know people will look at this. This is the kind. This is what makes me mad is that people will pull these numbers up. You know what I mean? They will right. use this as ammunition to be like, look how much money was lost by these American businesses. You know, or whatever it is, well, I yeah. guess. And they'll say, "Look at look at these numbers. We have to do something." And then the the the, the do something will be a sweeping, uh, fucking, yeah. uh, you know, locking down of the internet, and then we'll all be fucked. So, anyway. Uh, yeah. I'm wondering, are also, are these? Uh, do we know if these are like completed downloads or are these started downloads? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, like, that's I'm not question. sure if it's seeds or whatever. It was compiled by Torrent Freak, who does have a pulse on that side of things right. so they're not i don't think they're total bullshit or anything um, no, I, yeah i don't think so either. i'm just wondering if the numbers are actually that high when i saw all those numbers well like what i found billions, interesting that, that seemed a little bit high to me is that ps3 they don't even keep a list for because it it's so hard to pirate mm. <clears throat> i guess the disc format and the size because the games are on Blu-ray, yeah, you got to be dedicated if you want to fucking pirate PS3 games. Yeah, and so I guess it's really well, who difficult. Who plays PS3 anyway? Well, that's true too. <laughs> Nobody, because all their credit card information got stolen and Sony got broken into. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's why they're pirating. They can't afford anything. They're bankrupt. <laughs> their statements are ma- their cards are maxed out. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it was. I think overall, my my opinion of the article, it was just disappointing news more than anything. To yeah, see that cut, that much, that many, or that, yeah. Because, I, I mean, know. also, you know, that's the stigma with PC. That's why right. people, you know, developers avoid it. That's always the thing. Even even Jared and uh, Dude from Tribes brought piracy up, Bart. you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Brought piracy up both times, and, you know, they would know a little better, I think. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. But, um. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, this was, I guess, I don't know if this was today breaking news or the um, or the day before, but the, the Old Republic banning that's going on. I think you posted today on it, right, Dan? Yeah, it was today. Uh, uh, that's, and, <laughs> and Brandon had some more info that I didn't even know, but hmm. we'll get to that when we talk about it here. But um, basically, it looked to me kind of like a really – I don't even know if it was like – I thought it sounded like desperation or what, or just like they they were being heavy-handed with this. But basically what happened is is there's some loot containers on this high-level area, which obviously would contain better items and that kind of thing mm-hmm. that you could sell. And people were going there at low, low levels and 
finding ways to get to them, whether by chain dying to them or what. I'm not, you know, totally sure. I don't have the game, so. Um, but, and they were just, you know, there was no warning, no, this is an exploit, no GM saying, um, which in WoW is actually the practice usually if you're doing something wrong. Um, and it's not like officially listed as an exploit or something. Mm. You will actually get GMs who will, uh, whisper you and be like, Hey, you know, heads up, don't keep doing this. <laughs> it is actually something we're going to be, um, getting rid of. And what I just saw is that, uh, Bioware just wasn't quite sure of themselves with this new game launching yet as far as how they're going to work things. Um, because in WoW it would have been handled totally differently. It would have been handled in a way that was satisfactory to players and, and the company. So, I don't know. They should have warned them. You can't just ban. It was temporary bans. I want to stress that. They weren't like taking away people's ability to play the game. Mm-hmm. But you can't just ban for something that you say is an exploit after people after have the done fact, it and yeah. have no idea that it's an exploit <laughs> at all. Well, I think I think some of these people did have an idea it was an exploit. Like it sounds like it sounds like they were flipping territory control or something with these low level characters to farm uh I guess these loot containers that would respawn. So it, I mean it sounds like the the people that got banned probably weren't like innocent, but the fact remains that it's it's an exploitable part of the game. Well, it wasn't. To ban, yeah, they didn't have to, to do anything. To, mm-hmm. Sorry, they didn't have to do anything like any hack or even right, some right, right. sort of glitch. Even it was just it was in the game. Right, it's exploiting um, game mechanics. <laughs> creative use of game mechanics. That's what Blizzard told us back in the day when we were cascading molten core. <laughs> <laughs> They yeah. said, yes, that is, it's not technically an exploit. We're going to get rid of it. This is what they told our GM. Mm. Is what you would do is you technically are only supposed to be able to raid once a week to get loot once a week. So you're not supposed to gear up super fast. But back in the day, you could save raids to cert- to one character at a time and then just run like six instances of the same raid <laughs> and just get like an alt saved every time. And uh what that would do is allow you to kill the same boss like five or six times in a week that you're only supposed to be able to right. kill once. Oh, wow. And so technically, you know, technically you're not supposed to do that. But we actually had such an uproar on our server about us doing it that Blizzard or uh, RGM contacted a, a game master in-game mm. and was like, is this illegal? Will we get banned? Is there anything... You know, and Blizzard actually said, no, <laughs> you cannot get banned for this because it isn't an exploit. This is how the system works. So what you're doing, yes, technically it's an advantage and shouldn't be there, but we got to get rid of it for you. <laughs> so <laughs> they said we had a creative use of game mechanics. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, the other thing too. So beyond that, though, weren't they aren't they banning people for chat, private chat stuff? Yeah. This is what Brandon told me, and I didn't yeah. even know that. We'll I saw it in the article because I had no idea. Yeah. About well, that, I, I don't know that this stuff is like this. I saw it posted on Reddit. That's how I know. Substantial people... uh, on on Reddit yeah. and some other places yeah, that yeah. that people were that <clears throat> at least one person like posted screenshots that they had gotten banned for uh, for language. And I think it was in like private chatting, which brings up you know a whole host of concerns, uh, but definitely is is you know coincidentally timed with this whole uh, yeah. you know banning for exploits thing as well. Yeah. And overall, overall is not uh, not looking good for you know Bioware PR right now. That right. You know, apparently they're they're being heavy handed and handing out bans uh, when. You know, EA EA has had some trouble with that sort of thing, banning origin accounts. Um, this definitely doesn't look good for them. Yeah. And the thing is, the game, from all accounts I've heard, the game is good. So don't yeah. go messing it up doing this. <clears throat> yeah, it's already got a solid base. Well, I think you said it in the article, you said this is just this might just be growing pains for a new MMO. And it, so, and it might be it, them it, sending a message. But. Right. It's not really the best way. But don't fuck with us or else. <laughs> yeah, I don't. 
because it's not like exploiting was ever a huge thing in WoW, at least in my experience. And that had, you know, had the biggest MMO ever. Right. And Blizzard never really was heavy handed about anything. Um, we were we were talking about this before the podcast, but it seems to me, um, you know, because EA has said they have all this, you know, sophisticated monitoring, uh, as you would expect from an MMO in this day and age, that they can tell what people are doing when, um, you know, who's doing what. And so it seems to me like if, if you've got people doing this exploit, um, why, why can you not handle this on a case-by-case basis and, you know, talk to these people and say, look, if you, if you do this, if you keep doing this, we're going to ban you, but we're going to take the items away because it's an exploit, and, you know, just don't do it again. We're going to fix it. It, it seems like they could have taken a, a much more uh, sophisticated path in handling, you know, the exploit rather than just banning accounts that were doing it without warning. That That's pretty much never the right way to handle the, these types of things. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think that it needs to be made public that it's an exploit if that many people are doing it because... Yeah, you just say it. <laughs> and you have people who legitimately probably don't think that it's an exploit. I mean, it's stupid, but people are well, clueless sometimes, and every company is going to have the different idea of what an exploit is. The example I gave in the article was almost the exact same thing. Manitoum's farming and Burning Crusade was a huge moneymaker, and it was easy to do if you had a rogue with okay gear. And Blizzard finally was like, you know what, this is a little unfair to people who don't have a rogue or don't have the gear to do it, and that's not really what the instance was intended for. You were soloing just certain packs to get to chess, and then you would take the loot from the chest. So they nerfed the gold in them and took the gem drops out, making it useless. That's all they did. Nobody got banned. No mm. heavy-handedness. They were just like, yeah, we're just removing it. (laughs) And it was like a hot fix, too. It wasn't even patch or anything. I think it goes back to what you said about, like, creative use of game mechanics. These aren't people that are, uh, you know, trying to bug out some part of the world or anything. These are just, these are people with... Uh, Oh, no. With Lolo, I I mean, they may know it's an exploit, but still, it's, it's a pretty easy exploit to have figured out. Yep. Um seems to me that, that you know, Bio, Bioware has to uh, has to take responsibility for that. Yep. Yeah, I definitely agree. Well, well I guess we'll see how it plays out, um, if, if they kind of back off a little bit or how they try to, on the PR side, deal with it. Um, yeah, I think they're going to be okay. Yeah, just... yeah. I mean, yeah, it's everyone that I've talked to that has played it and I've seen on Twitter talking about it seem to really love it so far, which is good, but... Um, I love the C. (laughs) Ja, ja. Uh, All right, before we get to the Twitter questions, we're going to talk a little bit about, we touched on this in the the end of year podcast with the awards, but what we're looking forward to gaming-wise in 2012. Um, Yes. So just go down the line. I'll go actually first because I was just thinking about it. And for me, obviously, CSGO, full release, I want to be be interested to see how they do the matchmaking. Um, I'm excited for that. And also Hitman, the new Hitman game, just, we talked about it earlier. It looks, looks so good. Yep. I'm excited to see how that plays out. I actually read an article recently on PC Gamer in the hard copy of the magazine talking about how they're kind of a little bit concerned because it looks a little more action oriented than previous games. Like in, uh, some of the trailers and the playthrough, it's like he's just running around shooting everyone. And obviously you can do that. You can play Hitman how you want to play it. Um, but they felt like maybe the focus would be a little too action heavy and the devs kind of just settled it down and said, no, we know what makes Hitman good. And it's the ability to basically choose how you want to approach any situation. So, well, yeah, I, seems... I read the big difference too is in blood money. No one cared about you until you did something. And in this right. one, you're as soon as you load into the level, you're, you have like a wanted level to, you're not supposed to be yeah. that kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he and he also said too they did a they did an interesting in the last two games like it was the the characters that you were either assassinating or dealing with throughout the level like the henchmen were made to be um like not likable and you know just vulgar and annoying and all that kind of stuff and they yeah. said that they added so much more personality this time around to everything so you'll think like you'll actually grow attached to characters if you listen to conversations and stuff like that and so like kind of the moral choice is going to be a lot more uh, pronounced in this game than it was in previous ones. So, I don't know, it just seems like it's shaping up to be... And it looks beautiful. I mean, it looks Yeah, awesome. it looks awesome. So, that's my... Those are my two, probably. I mean, there's more, but... 
all the free to plays that'll be coming out too. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm really interested. Now we have you know pretty much what the model's going to be for a lot of them, but yeah. I mean, I'm just interested to see what the final model is for the paying and that kind of thing with tribes and blacklight and everything else. Because <clears throat> that's really going to make or break them when it comes down to it. Is how am I paying for this? Does it make right. people overpowered? That kind of thing. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Bioshock Infinite and Metro Last Light. Metro is going to be exciting. Mm. Uh, All right. <laughs> that was Brink 2. No, no explanation. Brandon? Brink 2. Um, I, well, I actually, uh, funnily enough, made a YouTube video on this very uh, topic. Oh, <laughs> wow. look at that. We all I'll watch. subscribe. Um, Good to see it. <laughs> I think uh, my, I'm, I'm kind of with Dan that I think the, the free-to-play stuff is really the most interesting uh, thing in this coming year because – most of the games that I'm interested in are are doing that free to play model. You like the Planet Side Two, yep. um, Guild Wars, you know, Tribes, Blacklight. Uh, there's a lot. I mean, I'm curious to see all the different free to play models that are going to emerge because, um, you know, like Tribes has a has a much different model than a League of Legends. Um, you know, Blacklight is currently kind of overhauling, rethinking uh, their pay structure. So I'm curious to see kind of what pans out as the you know the successful free to play games of this year and the ones that aren't so successful because I think by this time next year when we're talking about what we're looking forward to in 2013 the landscape yeah. of the free to play market is going to be completely different. Yeah, um, so I'm looking forward to that and then just the hardware. Um, I, I don't think we had touched on the the 7970 coming out on January 9th here in a few days, mm. um, but that that's you know I think that's really interesting just because. We're again seeing, um, you know, pretty pretty strong improvement in graphics performance. And uh, granted, it's going to be super expensive, but you've got some cool stuff like their uh, the zero core. No. Oh, he's coming back. Here he comes. Or when your monitor's off, the card uses like no power. I think that kind <laughs> of stuff is really cool. Um, that we're going to see a lot more advancements in you know power consumption, performance. Uh, you know, just Everything. It's going to use less power. Going to be more powerful. You know, by this time next year, it's it's possible we could have we could have parts that are using almost no power when we leave. Yep. <laughs> when we leave it off. I think oh, that's 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 amazing. Nice. That's good. What about you, John? I really John about. went to pee. Oh, he did. I'll take okay. up. Uh, <clears throat> definitely Diablo three. Yeah. Um, that's my top top title but the more i was thinking about it after i wrote my little look forward to post the more i was thinking about it um you know i want to see max Payne and hitman of course and uh but grand theft auto 5 man <laughs> i don't know i, I just think, about think that. like yeah i just think if they do that right that could be That's you know good. pretty yeah. much it um <laughs> the game <laughs> just stops it's done so right no other game was ever made I just feel like it, uh, that game, because of the way the franchise was, you know, it was the biggest thing there was for a little bit. And then four, I think four kind of, uh, took it down a notch. I've heard mixed reviews on four, which is the only one of the games really, where I heard people saying, eh, it wasn't that great. I loved it. (laughs) So, I think if they do five right, that's kind of, Rockstar has a chance to be the, I mean, if they're not developer of the year, I'd be baffled <laughs> next year. Cause they have I want to be able to GTA install 5 that, and Spain. that GTA 4 realism mod. Why can't you? Because it's super hard. I don't know how to uh, work anything on a PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the GTA, well, GTA wasn't made to be modded, so that was part of the issue there. <laughs> Yeah, there was a whole um, there was a whole guide in uh, PC Gamer. I bring it up again about how to do that, and it was like twenty five steps. And it was like if you fuck up this fourth step, you might as well reinstall the whole fucking thing and start over. <laughs> so yeah, it does seem like it's pretty hard to to mod it. Um, is John back? John? Nope. No. He, but he yeah, took, I think he took a deuce. GTA, and I'm I'm really interested to see Blacklight's pay pay thing whenever they come out with that yeah see what the the model is like price because they haven't tipped their hand a whole lot um yeah 
cool. I want to see it? how great the video game tie-in, the video game movie tie-in games will be. Because <laughs> those are always good. Like yeah. an Avengers game. I'm sure that'll be Jurassic good. Part 2, oh. the game. Yeah. Great. Um, <laughs> what happened? Actually, the um, time one... gets quicker. <laughs> <laughs> one other thing I'm really looking forward to is uh, kind of how we'll see uh, things like live streaming evolve and kind of how that affects mm-hmm. uh, eSports. Mm-hmm. And just like the, the whole live streaming type thing has come on pretty recently. I mean, a yeah, year ago, cool. you didn't really see people... Uh, doing live streaming and like live content, um, I think there's exciting potential for you know the Twitches and the YouTubes and stuff uh, of the world as we as we start moving to even more live content and live broadcasting and that sort <laughs> the of thing. The market is ripe for somebody to make a really really good streaming program too. Exploit yeah. is good. Don't get me wrong. They're but, gonna make you pay for it. Well, there's that, but Exploit uses. I don't know, I'm just waiting CPU. for someone to really make something that um, doesn't use a ton of CPU and is a little... And have you ever noticed, uh, maybe it's just me, but the menus are really laggy in XSplit. Like, for me, anyway. Like I if have I... no doubt that Podbean will release the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh... And it'll be a subscription server. Yep. So what are you looking forward to, John? Game wise, yeah, Guild Wars Parker. two, Diablo, um, seeing what Nvidia does to uh, counter the seventy nine seventies is going to be interesting. Seeing what they're going to pump out to uh, compete with that as a, as far as single car GPUs. Yeah, it'll be, they're pushing them. Both companies are pushing quite nicely against each other recently. So, so I'm anxious to see if they announce a sequel for Brink. Yeah. Yes. You know what the market's right? Probably a big QuakeCon announcement this year. Break two. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It'll just be the someone, menu system. Here's what someone needs to do. <laughs> just remake enemy territory with new graphics. Literally change the No, nothing. I saw you tweet that, and there's there would be... So many people would play that, man. Nothing else. So many I people. would be... I would quit playing everything else. Yeah, yeah I would literally not Keep play the feel it. of the original and just update the graphics. Yeah, give, give us all the mod tools and everything, yeah. all the map tools, and... Uh, Wow. Go from there. That, I thought they could also make that into like a free to play game yeah. in, in today's mm-hmm. day and age. Yep. It's a really good idea. Yeah, Someone... check Google Analytics. How much are we making? Could we do it ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a shoestring budget. Could we just build it ourselves and just release it ourselves and we'll play it. And by ourselves. shoestring, I mean we'll be animating it in paint and. <laughs> Um, All of the character models would be that stupid fucking owl that Scott links every day. On I would Twitter. play that actually, <laughs> dude. That would be in a game and a half right there. Oh, God. But the thing about that game, and those who didn't play it, you won't really know. But three of us on here did a lot. Um, the thing about that game is that it has the best elements of every shooter that's big. <laughs> yeah, I had it before. I had it before it was popular to have. It has like the battlefield three objective shit and the larger maps, and it has like twitchy class gunplay. systems. It's got very twitchy gunplay because it's it's on the Quake engine and it's not very modified. I mean, you can strafe jump like a motherfucker in that game. So, yeah. and it has like the mods and everything of you know the Half Life series. I mean, Et I Pro know. best mod. All you have to do is reskin it. Like, honestly, if <laughs> Bethesda or whoever owns it, Splash Damage, just reskin the game, put it out again. Give, I'll give buy it. Brink's it. graphics. <laughs> no, Brink's, pla- Brink's, Brink's customization. <laughs> I know, I don't think anybody knows how customizable Brink is because nobody's gotten that far into it. <laughs> <laughs> An hour in, everyone's like, well, this was the worst purchase I've ever made. <clears throat> Even when it was, what, $5? I had hope in the beginning, and then yeah. hope faded. <laughs> Once the first rape alley took my <laughs> life. <laughs> something about being raped just, I guess, demotivates people. That's weird, There's isn't it? something about having to play a really clunky single player <laughs> to unlock things in a multiplayer, yes. but they're the same <laughs> thing. Yeah. It's like, why would I play against bots so I can use the guns I earn to play against real people? Why can't you just give it to me in the first place? (laughs) 
Did you have to learn how to parkour, Alex? That's right. I fucking know how to parkour. It was the space button. It wasn't hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Alex does parkour IRL, so he's... That's true. For his acting. Don't you have to do a lot of that? The parkour? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> All right. Well... <laughs> I don't know. All right. I heard, I heard you're going to be another. What if oh. I like step up to the streets four? Yeah. Well, I heard that that was going to be on your on your rap sheet here. You were about you to do that. You said go make the movie money. It's the only offer I got. <laughs> step up four. Like, make that movie money. Check my inbox. Step up to the streets four. Nice. All right. Well, let's get to uh, Twitter questions here. We are. Um, did anyone pull any of the uh, prime ones? I think we asked about them earlier. And now it's time for Twitter questions with the KB Mod podcast. Because I didn't, so. Ooh, there's many. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. Okay, all right, I got one. Uh, I have a Twitter question. All right. <laughs> this is from Crunch. Oh boy. If one were to hit a beaver with a jet ski, <laughs> was it because the beaver was in a lake or was it because you were jet skiing in a river? Oh. This is something like Conspiracy Keanu would think of. Yeah, this is very. Or, um, Velociraptor. Um. I don't. Well, both are true. Both are Why true. Wasn't the, the answer. Female beaver in the damn kitchen. That was a pun. That was a pun. <laughs> I'm going with. I'm going with jet skiing in a river because you can jet ski anywhere. There's no like limits on that jet ski, dog. Yeah, that's that's fair. Blow up I'm gonna go. You're pushing it. I'm gonna go with 42 on that one. 42. Yeah. C. C. C is the answer. It's always C. I'll take Nick Fenton gets fucking tickets for. Going in no wake zones on his jet ski for 400 because that <laughs> happened. And he hit a beaver. I don't know if this was in the same day, but he's not had luck on a jet oh, ski. He did hit a beaver. That's a beaver. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, he did. Yeah, this is from Nick Fenton. Worst Nick Jeopardy cr- criteria category. What the <laughs> Nick fuck? Fenton. Beaver run ins would be the category. <laughs> uh, and this 40. one was a really interesting one. Yeah. Um, we, we mentioned it before the cast. Um, and that is, and it's kind of a serious, more serious one, but not really because it's about gaming. But would you only rather only play indie games or triple A titles for the next five years straight? Triple A because I would prefer it to be an MMORPG. Yeah. Is Bioshock I, Infinite triple um, A? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> then the humble bundle. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely would have to go triple A, I think. The reason I would also go triple A is because those games tend to have more longevity. Uh the game like Skyrim is, you know, can be infinite hours if you right. want, and that's a triple A title. And like John said, MMO <laughs> you could never stop. And <laughs> been playing WoW for six and a half years or whatever now, so <laughs> I, I would go at uh, AAA too, just because of better longevity and uh, and better multiplayer. I think by and large. Yep. Nice. Um, Brandon had one here from um, T Siegs, who says New Year's resolutions. No question mark, but I'm assuming New Year's resolutions. Eh? Yeah. Do we have any? Do we make any? No, they they never fucking go through them. It's yeah. bad. You just set goals for yourself. And you feel bad about yourself. Yeah. Because if you call it a resolution, you just fail. Mm, yep. I just felt good. Uh, I tweeted this out. I felt good being in a new year this year for some reason. Yeah. Never never really gave a shit before, but this year just felt like a, a new start. I, I think it felt good to have KB Mod going right away at the beginning of the year. I don't know why. But uh, my my yeah. New Year's resolution. I'll give you one just to answer the question correctly. My New Year's resolution is to get drunk as soon as I'm done recording this podcast. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. That's good. Um, I will fulfill my resolution for the first time. <laughs> there, yeah. You don't have the disappointment because that's something you can do right now. Yes. I think. Um, I think I'm. I think I need to watch more paranormal shows. So, Ghost Hunters, <laughs> Ghost Hunters International, wow. Ghost Adventures. 
uh, the Bigfoot, which isn't really paranormal, but let's it's be honest. It's fucking ama- amazing show. I've seen Bigfoot like 16 times myself. Yeah, so. exactly. Jesus Christ. Um, you know what's the best show on TV is fucking Moonshiners. Oh, I love that on his No reservations, bro. Ooh, oh, well, Anthony yeah, Bourdain. That, that would be the serious answer, but Moonshiners yeah. is fucking hilarious. Oh, I know. That, tickle Anthony don't Bourdain fall, tickle. is my favorite human being. Who Anthony is? Bourdain has the best uh, job Bourdain. on the planet. Yes. Period. There is yeah, not a better job at all. He just goes to the know. sweetest places, eats the best food, and gets drunk. Yep. That's what he does for a living. <laughs> not a bad gig. Makes millions for it, too. So, Yep. Go ahead, sweet Brandon. Mm, oh, I was going to say, I, I don't really make resolutions either, just because I figure if you're going to set goals, you can set them any time of the year. But... Uh, Awesome. Yeah, that's that was mine too. Um, I will. I, my one resolution would be to uh, to take a little more time to play single player games uh, because there's a lot of great ones out there, like you know the Bastions, uh, Arkham Cities, and that type of stuff that, that I usually don't play. Well, no, Brandon doesn't usually play single player games, mm. at least since I've known. <laughs> no, I, I don't really. I don't usually like they don't hold my attention for more than a few hours at a time. It's pretty rare that I actually finish a single player game. So. I'm gonna to try to take a little bit more time this year to, you know, to play through some of the better ones. Um, as I hear from people, single player game as my behind, and you will finish. <laughs> <laughs> you will finish quick. I'm gay. Oh my god! Good question here from at who's at Game Dude 375. Does it make sense for me to cut a hole? In, okay, I gotta get through it. <laughs> Does it make sense? <laughs> No, it doesn't. I can already tell you it doesn't make sense to do this. Does it make sense for me to cut a hole in all of my sweatpants and get a juicy tattoo across my ass? These pants are expensive. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yes, it makes complete sense. I would go for that. Uh, Tweet pictures. Yeah. (laughs) Wow. Go for it. Yeah, why not? (laughs) What a question. Anything else? The old. Ooh, Brandon's got. Ooh, that's a really good one, Brandon. Okay, Brandon's got one from at guy with hair one oh two. This is your uh, favorite cartoon. You can mm-hmm. use Adult Swim cartoons as well. Oh, it's this lifetime or current? Yeah, it could uh, be he doesn't specify. Oh, we'll, get, we'll, we'll give both. Let's, we'll just give both then. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say we could do like a one kid one and one, but. Go ahead, John. You seem current to have favorite to. cartoons, definitely South Park. I don't care if that's pretty uh, cliche. I, yeah, I, I just, South I just, too. I just like bashing people who just make fun of everybody and don't care. Yeah. <laughs> favorite as a child was definitely Doug. Nice. <laughs> Love Doug. For me, um, Darkwing Duck was a strong choice for me when I was younger. Jedi um, battles. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> I know that wasn't a cartoon, but it would have been awesome if it was. And um, Lately, Archer, which is kind of God, a, what a cartoon. Show. Archer is just fucking amazing. I just can't get enough of Archer. And I would go South Park, too, um, as well. There's, I was watching a family guy today right before I got on my computer with the podcast. And, yeah. and I, I don't really agree with a lot of the stuff they do, but they had a segment on Terry Schiavo. <laughs> made me laugh hysterically. It was like a song. It's like Terry Shivo, she's almost alive. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's the most expensive plant you'll ever see. <laughs> and I was just like, "Oh, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life." <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, Family Guy's hit or miss for me when they have funny bits, though. Occasionally, that was yeah. that was one of the probably one of the hardest I've ever laughed watching a TV <laughs> show. I was like, "That is so wrong," but it is just right. Oh jeez. Uh, I'm going to go, um, as a kid, as a kid, you know, it was Batman the Animated Series or the X-Men Animated Series, which <laughs> Scott was at my house. Oh, yes. This summer, and I actually had my kid watching the X-Men series, the old one. We saw the most crack-fueled episode of this shit God. ever. It were made they, no fucking sense. they get sense. taken to the alien planet and get put in that game show? Yeah, it's like a filler episode. There's nothing to do with the regular story in it at all. But it's sense. like... It is fucked up. It is we were just fun. jaws on the floor the whole time because it was yeah. so fucked up. But uh I fucking loved, and it's not on anymore. I think they might still do reruns. But fucking Space Ghost, Coast to Coast, 
was the shit on Adult Swim and Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Aqua Teen was great, yeah. Space the Space Ghost. Look it up on YouTube because I'm pretty sure it's there. The Space Ghost Pod episode. You might be able to find it on AdultSwim.com, but my god, you will just laugh for ten minutes straight or however <laughs> long the episode is. So fucking good. Yes. <laughs> Alex, Brandon, Brandon. Alex. Uh, I don't know if I watched one today. I think if I had to click on one of the big three, like Simpsons, South Park, or Family Guy, I'd go South Park. But my favorite growing up was um, Recess or The Weekenders. Recess Ooh. or The Weekenders. Yeah, That's Recess. Good shit for me. Are you afraid? Those of the are dark beyond best my chain. <laughs> are you afraid of the dark? Best show. That wasn't. Animated. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Parts of it were animated. <laughs> I think mean, that was filmed in Canada. I'm pretty sure. R.L. Stein's here. Goosebumps. For the oh rest my of god, my Goosebumps. Life. The Pinball Wizard episode. God, dude, that Brandon? used to scare the fuck out of me. Brandon, Brandon? What? What I cartoons? Know. Um, I, I don't really watch any anymore. But as a kid, I would say my favorite cartoon was probably Tom and Jerry. Oh, okay. Wow. Like in the the old school. Miles. Yeah, I used to I used to watch Cartoon Network all the time when I was a kid, like the old you know the old cartoons like Roadrunner, Wiley e. Coyote, and Tom yeah. and Jerry, and all that. I, I used to love those as a kid. The Hanna Barbera cartoons are legendary too. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what the worst one was? Angela and Anaconda. Have you ever seen that? That shit is terrifying. I don't even know I'm what that is. Bad. How old are you? Probably yeah. a Canadian show. No, it's just Canadian? look up Angela and Anaconda. Her face. I can't even describe it. It's like it was like the, a cartoon style was like paper. It walked around like paper. Huh. It's terrifying. <laughs> How old were you when you watched this? What age group? Oh, like two years ago when I was four. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Um, Bueller? Anyone? Bueller? 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 Bueller. Bueller. Any other questions Bueller. before we wrap it up? We're getting to the end here. Um, <laughs> we have to read oh, this one. Man. Okay, yeah, that one is fucking awesome. <laughs> um, Ball Sacks Boy on Twitter <laughs> asks, "Would you rather finger ten cat-sized Scott Fishers or one Scott Fisher-sized cat?" <laughs> what the fuck? I can answer this. I can answer this logically. Wait, I used to like collecting things. Like I used to have. Collections oh of different God. things. <laughs> so if I had ten cat-sized Scott Fishers, <laughs> I'd finger them, of course. What else is there to do? But then I would just place them around my room in different areas, wow. so I could just collect Scott Fisher. <laughs> I would just have Scott, like Scott Fisher, like I would have each of them do a different Scott Fisher face. <laughs> Get scared. Uh, wait, am I stuffed? Am I dead? Are all these dead? No, no you're, you're alive. alive. You're, you're just you're just the size of a cat. Wow. <laughs> you're like a little doll, Scott Fisher. Wow. I'd have to keep them away from my computer, or else all ten of them would start limp lip <laughs> lip syncing. <laughs> emo songs. Terrible emo songs. Nice. Oh well. I'm just gonna go with the Scott Fisher set or the uh the cats that look like Scott Fisher. You just get one. You just do one. No, I would. I would finger bang ten cats. Oh wow! Like you because <laughs> it would be like That's... fulfilling my dream ten times. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm gay. I feel, I feel like you have to go with the ten cats. Yeah. Fisher because one Scott Fisher sized cat. I mean. That's a human being sized cat. That's a fucking big cat. Can you dude. imagine the litter box for that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I would it's just build a, I, would, I would just build a playground, like kids school sized playground <laughs> sandbox in the back. Be like just have you go out there and shit. Out there. Oh god. That's good. And also I wouldn't want that thing to get angry at me if I tried to finger it. <laughs> Cause it would probably kill me. <laughs> I'd have claws and everything. It'd be awesome. <laughs> Man. Brandon, awesome. what would you do? I'm interested in Brandon's answer. Uh, I think I think I'd probably have to go with the uh, the cat size Scott Fisher I mean, because like Dan said, well it you know, one one Scott Fisher sized cat, that that is a horrifying thing to think <laughs> about. <laughs> when you think about the ramifications that would come from any sort of penetration. Imagine the hairballs. You know the government would take the cat away from you too, and do tests on it. <laughs> they just they put me down. They there would be no. They just be like you're done. <laughs> it would be like in Super Eight. They would just call in the military, just bomb the fucking house to kill the cat. Oh man. 
Wow. Well, I think that well done, ball sex boy. Well done. Good question. I think we will. <laughs> I think we will end it on that note. But we'll be back again next week. We'll be back on schedule after possibly, the possibly a fuzzy otter ball sighting nice. next week. Yes. So. That or the week after, I think, is what yeah. we're for. Yeah. So, yep, and we can uh, we will definitely address the uh, the old Ubisoft, which will be nice. <laughs> so, his former employer. All right, guys, we will see you next week. Later, Later. Later. See ya. See you next week. Later, Later. Later. See ya. See you next week. Later, Later. Later. See ya. See you next week. Later, Later. Later. See ya. See you next week. Later, Later. Later. See ya. See you next week. Later, Later. Later. See ya. Next week. Later. 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 Later.